In this video, I'm going to show you how to host your NA workflows 24 seven, completely for free, step by step. And you're probably seeing other videos using other platforms like render, but their free plans have a major catch. Their servers shuts down from inactivities and you get limited resources and you're forced to see or use a workaround just to keep your automation online. But here's a real secret. Those platforms are often just middlemen. And take Render for example. Render is built on top of Amazon Web Service. And we can see that on the Amazon Web Service Marketplace. So the question is, why use a middleman with small limitations when we can go directly to the source ourselves? And just a quick intro about myself. My name is Eric and I'm a software engineer who works at Amazon AWS. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the expert way on how to use AWS to use Docker to deploy NAN the right way. And the result is free hosting, free server for the entire year, no sleeping servers and no hidden limits. So with that being said, if you're interested, let's get started. All right, so to get started, first we look for a definition for EC2, which here you can see is a web service that provides a resizable compute capacity in the cloud. And basically you can think of it as like a virtual machine that lives in the cloud and we can be able to use this virtual machine to run any applications we want. And here currently you can see for EC2 is offering 750 hours per month for 12 months. And if we were to do the math, 750 hours divided by 24 hours per day, that's like 31 days. So we're, we'll get enough hours to run any applications we want on our virtual machines for 12 months straight. Okay, so that's a really good offer and we're gonna go ahead with this. So here back to the browser, we're going to scroll down and click on the first link, which is our EC2 uh, landing page. So if we were to click and do this, you can see right away, it offers us 750 hours per month for 12 months with the Amazon Web Service free tier, which is a lot, 750 hours for the compute every month, right? For the first 12 months after we sign up for the accounts. So here I'm just gonna create the account, fill in my information and continue the video from there. All right, so once we sign up for Amazon Web Service, now you can see that we can be able to click on the search tab to be able to search for EC2. So we just have to type in EC2 and you can see that we have EC2 pop up. We're just going to click on the service and here we can just click on launch instance. So in that case, on the left here, we're just going to launch our instance. And here I'm just going to give a name called NAN Eric Tech. And in terms of the application and OS images, we're just going to choose the Ubuntu for the quick start. And then if we were to scroll down, you can see that there's also a key pair, which we can be able to use the key pair to securely connect our instance. And you can think of it, your key pair as like your key to access the virtual machine in the cloud. So in that case, we're just going to click here to create our key pair. And then here for creating the key pair, I'm just going to give it a name and I'm just going to leave this default settings and then click on create key pair. All right. Once the key pair is created, download this to my local machine. Now what we can do is we can just click on launch the instance. So you can see that currently is launching the instance. And here you can see the instance has successfully launched. All right, so now what we need to do is be able to SSH into this instance. In other words, we need to be able to connect to this instance and be able to install NAN onto this instance. Now what we can do is we can be able to use our terminal on our computer, be able to SSH into this instance and be able to install NAN. Or the other way we can do this is we can be able to use an open source software called Tabby, which is a modern terminal that's much more easier to use to SSH or connect our instance much more easier locally. All right, so the next step is to install this. So here I'm just gonna click on releases and try to find the right version for the package. And here I'm using the macOS M1 chip, so I'm gonna install this package. And then once you set this up on your local machine, then here I'm just gonna click on settings. Inside the settings, we have profiles and connections. And here we're just gonna click on new profile. So we're gonna create a new profile for SSH connection. So click on SSH connection. And here we're just gonna find our host and enter here. So to find the host, we're just gonna come back to the Amazon Web Service. First, we're going to find that instance. And once we're in that instance that we created, we're just gonna copy the public IP address, come back to the terminal and be able to paste it here. Okay, and then in terms of the username, I'm just gonna put Ubuntu here. And then here we also need to add the private keys. Now the private keys are the keys that we just downloaded when we create the instance for the Amazon Web Service. So I'm just gonna add our private key here. All right, so now you can see our private key is added then we can click on save now here you can see we have our ubuntu profile we're just going to click on start and this will start our terminal which can allow us to connect directly to this instance by using this user interface and here you can see we have ssh into this instance now here we're just going to zoom a bit and be able to clear the terminal 
Now what we need to do is to install Docker before we install NAN because we need to use that to deploy our NAN. So here I'm just gonna run this command and this will install Docker. All right, so now you can see we have our Docker installed. Now what we need to do is to run sudo starts, which will start Docker on the server. And then now what we can do is we can be able to look for NAN GitHub page. Now here you can see this is our NAN workflow automation platform GitHub repository. And then here, if you were to scroll down, there is a section for quick start where we can be able to deploy NAN with Docker. And then here inside of our quick start section, it tells you exactly what you need to run to deploy with Docker. So here I'm just gonna copy this, come to terminal, run this command, and this will create our Docker volume or data persistence or data storage for NAN. And before we run this command, make sure to add sudo before this command. And we're just gonna run this. And now we're just gonna run the second command, which is this one right here. So we're gonna copy this, come back to the terminal, and we're just gonna paste it here. Here, we're just going to change a couple of things. First, we're gonna add sudos before this command. And then we also need to remove this part before the dash dash name. And then we're gonna change that to dash D. And here, I'm also gonna add an environment variable for this one. So here, uh, we're just gonna do dash E. And then here, I basically set the environment variable for the NAN secure cookie to be false so that we can be able to use HTTP to access. And lastly, we also need to change the path for where we're gonna store the NAN data. So here, inside of NAN data, we're gonna change the path here. So in terms of the path, we can be able to change it to home Ubuntu. I'm just gonna change it to home Ubuntu for the path. So it's much more easier to access. And then if everything looks good, we're just gonna enter this. Awesome, so now you can see that it has pulled the image completely. And then you can see that currently the status downloaded for the newer image. Now, before we start this, we also wanna make sure to expose the endpoint to public so that we can be able to access this. So in that case, I'm just gonna come back to the EC2. So now we're gonna come back to the EC2 instance. And here, we're just gonna click on security. And here we're just gonna click on the security group. And here we're just gonna click on edit inbound rules. And then here we're just gonna add a new rule. And here is gonna be a custom TCP. And then in terms of the ports, it's gonna be a port that's set specifically for NAN. And that port is 5678. And then in terms of the IP address, we're just gonna set to the to this one. And then here we're just gonna save the rules. Now you can see everything's good. Now then I'm just gonna come back to the instance really quick, copy this IP address. And here inside of the browser, I'm just gonna paste the IP address here. And then at the end, I'm just gonna do colon five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, so now you can see our NAN application is fully deployed onto our EC2 instance. So now we can feel free to use it. And here you can see we can be able to log in, set up our owner accounts. All right, so after we sign up for the owner account, this is what the dashboard look like. We can then be able to create our workflow, right? So here we can be able to click on create start from scratch. And now we can be able to build our workflow from here. Awesome, so now you can see I have built a workflow and have it running for quite a while. And to show you that everything is working, here you can see I'm in the execution tab. And if I were to scroll down, you can see that these are all the execution that has been run for the past couple hours or days or so. Uh, you can see that it's currently running on a schedule trigger, which trigger every 30 minutes. So pretty much you can see that everything's working fine. Uh, we have the workflow running without me having to turn on the applications or open the computer to have this running, right? And just to show you the cost really quickly, here is the cost and usage. So if I were to take a look at the cost, you can see that for easy 2 is costing $0 for the cost and usage. So pretty much you can see that this is how we can be able to self-host our NAN workflow on Amazon Web Service. Now, before we end this video, if you do found value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe for more content like this. And if you do have any questions or any content ideas, please comment down below. In that case, I will see you in the next video.